Today, Rockstar breaks the internet, ladies and gentlemen. Grand Theft Auto 6. I can't believe we can unironically say those words while acknowledging that there's material about it that exists as the brand new trailer or the reveal trailer for Grand Theft Auto 6 has dropped a little earlier than intended because somebody actually leaked the trailer and so Rockstar was just like, screw it, let's just release it. Now it's supposed to go up uh, tomorrow at like 9 Pacific, but it's up right now as you can see right here. And I want you to witness this. It's been three hours since the trailer came out and it's already at 25 million views. And people who witnessed the trailer go up live basically saw this trailer see like 1.5 million likes in like, what, like 15 minutes or something. Ladies and gentlemen, th this is a momentous occasion in not just gaming, but in, in just media in general. Because Grand Theft Auto is one of those things that just transcends gaming. Everyone kind of knows Grand Theft Auto and people have been like holding their breath for this one for like a million years. And it is finally here. And uh, the people are going crazy. Of course, it's the number one thing that's trending on Twitter right now. And generally, the impressions surrounding this trailer have been really positive because I've seen it and holy crap, it looks good. I actually want to play this trailer and react to it with you guys. Uh, I am going to turn down the audio because it is very much copyrighted music. But really, the thing that strikes me most about what I saw in this trailer is how visually stunning it is. I mean, there are moments where I swear it is just somebody took a camera and filmed real people. Uh, the physics, the hair physics in particular, I want to highlight in this trailer, among other things. I mean, if there is one thing that Rockstar has continuously done, it's pushed the boundaries of what you can achieve in a generation of consoles with its visual fidelity. And now with like modern day technology with current generation console power to take advantage of, man, uh, it, it is insane that a huge open world game can look like this. So, let's check this out. For you guys, the audio will be relatively muted, but uh, here we go. I mean, already just the lighting and the density of the city is very apparent. Very near I mean, Jesus Christ, look at this lighting. I mean, this is RTX on and everything. The water looks absolutely beautiful. The effects, the way it ripples, the color, the overall aesthetic of this game is already very much in line with Vice City. But just, I mean, this is what Vice City looked to us back in the day when we played on, like, PlayStation 2 or whatever. And now uh, we get to, like, see it how we imagined in our heads, looking hyper-realistic. Just really crazy, the visual fidelity going on here. I mean, all kinds of activities you got. I mean, the density of the crowds and how, I mean, everyone's engaged in some some kind of activity. The city just feels alive. There's helicopters and aerial vehicles in the background. Uh, we got water vehicles and everything. Oh, my God. <laughs> of course, uh, you know, strip clubs are going to be a thing. Uh, and uh, lots of twerking in this trailer. That's something that uh, you will notice throughout. Now, going a little further, we can see what character models look like up close. Lots of views of the city itself. I mean, the, the level of detail here is insane. You know, you see a game like Cyberpunk 2077 that just so impresses visually, and that is still among the best-looking games right now, especially when you turn on all the effects and RTX and you really crank the settings up. You think to yourself, how can visuals get that much better? And you look at something like Grand Theft Auto 6, and, I mean, I can already tell it is like a step above, and that is no insult to Cyberpunk 2077 because that game set the bar so high, especially after all the patches rolled out. And to see a game that is so clearly even, like, ahead because it was strictly designed for, you know, next gen or what's now current generation consoles and they really fully leveraged that technology and the results really show. And just, I mean, how much more time they had to actually make this game and as a result, all the details that they scrutinized to really bring it to life, it... it the hair physics here is on a whole other level. Look at the way... This, I mean, it still has a slight kind of noodly effect, but generally, I think this is the best 
physics effects I've ever seen on hair. And it just, it's one of those subtle things that makes such a huge difference in selling the realism of a scene. More often than not, just how stiff hair looks because just people haven't figured out the physics for it yet or it's difficult to implement. Just like it, it, it loses the illusion of realism just enough. It's one of those small details that makes a significant enough difference where it really breathes life to the character models. Vice City, of course. Social media being a big part of modern day culture and Grand Theft Auto being such a contemporary series that tackles just kind of what's going on in society right now. You expect this to be a major aspect of the game. Uh, various uh, content creators and whatnot who you'll be able to witness throughout the course of the game. Again, the hair physics here. It's a small thing, but the way it's waving around... It, it makes it look like this was just filmed. And then somebody added some like color grading to it. Uh, it's those little like animation things that like sells your brain on this being something legitimate. Oh my God. I mean, it just, just, it, it, it's crazy how, how far we've gotten uh, from a graphics fidelity standpoint. And this is the kind of graphics you might expect from a game that's like very contained and linear, but this is how apparently the game is going to look like when you're just roaming around the open world. And do understand that this right here is in-engine footage. It's not gameplay per se in the sense that they're not showing us uh, somebody you know, playing the game with a controller. They are showing cinematic shots, but all this stuff was filmed in-engine, and this is probably about the kind of visual fidelity we can expect from the game. Maybe a few downgrades here and there. The game is far away enough where there might be some adjustments, but this is what they're aiming for. And, I mean, if they can achieve this, if it's close enough to this, holy mother of God. It's very... It's very apparent just the level of motion capture that went on when uh, they created this game. It feels like everything is motion captured. Um, so much of what sells the the immersion, I think, of a game and like the interaction between people is animation. More so than even visual fidelity, it's the way people move that makes you believe that these are real people. But I mean, but then you look at like the lighting and the, I mean, just, just they cranked up all the settings to max here. And it, it's, it is quite something to look at. Uh, just just how much uh, the visuals have advanced. This, this, see, this little shot right here, the, the way this ponytail right here just bounces in such a subtle yet real way, and it doesn't have like, you know, Witcher 3 hair works on noodly effects, and it it's that one little thing that gives this whole thing such a cinematically realistic look combined with the lighting going on back here, and just, uh, I mean, the shadows and everything, uh, it, it's so, it, it's, it's again, like I, there's a part of my brain that thinks this was just filmed. You know what I mean? Jesus. And it seems as though these two characters, uh, I mean, I, I believe what I've heard is that this is kind of like a Bonnie and Clyde kind of a situation. Uh, they seem to be uh, lovers. Yeah, I mean, the dynamic between these two characters is clearly going to be central to this plot. And uh, I'm very curious to see. I mean, if there's one thing that Grand Theft Auto has always nailed, it's like it's the main campaign and making all these characters not only compelling, but feel like they could actually exist out there. Uh, just the way dialogue is written is always so good and uh, so grounded um, while all of that is juxtaposed by the ridiculousness of the satirical nature of Grand Theft Auto and all the crazy, insane shit you'll see uh, in this game and throughout the series. But, like, this shot right here as well, man. Oh, God. This is just pure, pure eye candy, what we're witnessing here. And there it is. Grand Theft Auto, coming in 2025. It's the end of 2023 right now, so there's at least an extra year's worth of development, more than a year's worth of development, which is why I'm like, uh, this is, while this is, I'm very sure it's in-engine, 
uh like it's just it's easy to tell that it's in engine and not like a pre-rendered thing um there's still enough time left uh between now and release there's still a lot of development to be done with this game that it's possible that elements of its aesthetic will change but generally you know when we were shown gta 5's uh trailer uh it's reveal trailer and we were shown a similar kind of cinematically shot trailer was all in engine and the final game looked close enough to that initial teaser trailer same with like gta 4 so honestly like th this is i don't think i don't think it's going to be too far off here and it I, I mean look at this shot just uh, you could freeze at any point in this trailer and it'll somehow visually impress i mean look at this shot here god it is crazy that we'll just get to roam around in this world and obviously, it's too early to tell how this game will pan out. But, I, you know, say what you want about Rockstar and Take-Two. But when it comes to Grand Theft Auto and Red Dead Redemption and those main campaigns, I mean, they always kind of slay. I only hope that this campaign is uh, supported beyond just the initial release. Hopefully, we'll see expansions, which is something that was abandoned with GTA V because GTA Online became the priority. And do keep in mind, this is just Grand Theft Auto VI, the main campaign. No doubt they have huge plans for the next iteration of Grand Theft Auto Online, given how much money GTA Online for GTA V made. That is going to be their next big money maker for the next you know <laughs> two three generations of consoles who knows how long they'll milk gta 6 but it does look freaking amazing based on what little we've been shown here and the internet is kind of yeah blow, blown away I, I think generally i mean what are we looking at here 4.6 million likes 137,000 dislikes uh is kind of the ratio um, which is a pretty positive ratio given the scale at which this trailer is being watched. The whole world is paying attention right now. And uh, I can't help but be impressed at like how magical technology has become to the point where we can have interactive experiences that can look like this. Like, you know, magic might not exist in our world, but technology might as well be magic at this point when it can produce results like this. I mean, man, um, utter insanity if this is uh, genuinely representative of what we can expect in the final game. Uh, this is going to sell so insanely. This may very well be the biggest launch in media, period, is what I'm going to predict right now. I think just the viewership of this trailer alone is going to break records, but when this game comes out, the level at which this is going to sell is going to be so massive that it's going to trump all other media industries by a mile, and it is going to break all kinds of records, and few things will... I mean, no, I, nothing is going to be able to touch the level of sales we'll see for Grand Theft Auto 6. Uh, this is uh, going to be quite the thing to witness when it launches so that ladies and gentlemen is my reaction to this it's crazy that it's actually real that we're seeing grand theft auto 6 it almost makes me feel kind of old <laughs> because of how long we've had to wait for this um but it's here and i'd love to hear what your thoughts and opinions are on what you witnessed with this trailer and what your hopes and dreams are for this game and uh, what you anticipate this game to be and how it you how you think it'll end up turning out how you think it'll be critically received and how well you think it'll ultimately end up selling share your thoughts in the comments below and to be further updated on all things gaming news reviews and discussions stay tuned right here on young yeah i'll see you guys next time young out